Philadelphia, the countless faces we've met on the road this past week, all waiting for the Pope, and the boy who gave the Pope and this entire city one unexpected gift. After winding his way through Philadelphia, Pope Francis this evening will begin to make his 4,200 mile journey back home to the Vatican. It was there just a couple of weeks back, we asked the Pope, are you ready for your trip to America? And without even hesitating, he told us yes. And in every city we visited this week, Americans were ready for him. From the first moments, that little girl who ran through the barricade not once, but twice right toward the Pope. So many who lined the streets all the way from California. I would have gone anywhere to see the Pope. Anywhere. Anywhere. The seminary student from Ohio, one month in, moved by a Pope reaching out to the people. There are big differences with this Pope. He's fearless. That can be a scary thing, but he doesn't let that deter him. In New York, the tens of thousands outside Central Park. How you guys doing? Hey! Even the NYPD telling us the crowd was different. The crowds are tame. Is it the Pope effect? We think so. Yeah, they're yeah. behaving because it's Pope Francis. That's right. And here in Philadelphia tonight, the couple who flew all the way from Hawaii. He's such a humble man. Humble man. Humble man. And it was here in Philadelphia, a 14-year-old boy named Bobby Hill moved us all. After a change of plans, Bobby was asked, could he sing P.A. Jesu a cappella, something he had never done before, and he had just five minutes to prepare. Just listen. And when he finished, Bobby, who wants to be an opera singer one day, walked up to the Pope and gave him a rock from his choir trip to Antarctica. You can see the Pope saying, for me? The Pope then calls him back and hands him a little red box, a rosary in return. They shake hands and then a standing ovation for Bobby. Bobby's voice, just incredible. And thank you for watching here on a Sunday night. For Cecilia and Tom and the entire weekend team, I'm David Muir. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow night from New York. Until then, have a good evening. Good night. Enter the sexy, filthy, rich world. Who says capitalism is only for the boys, eh? Of Blood and Oil premieres tonight, 9, 8 central on ABC. Our air is clean.